All right, we are here in Nanyang Exhibition Center in Taipei, Taiwan for Computex 2023. Today, I'm going to bring you guys to the MSI booth and see what they have in store for us. Let's go! Now we are at the gaming and streaming hub where MSI is showing off their gaming monitors and previewed gaming PC. MSI is currently showing off the new Super Ultra Wide 49 1C QD OLED monitor. It is a 240Hz refresh rate panel with 1800R curvature to give you a fully immersive experience. The second QD OLED monitor that they are showing off here is the MEG 34 2C which is a 34-inch ultra-wide curve monitor. It has a 175Hz refresh rate. The 342C also has an impressive color gamut, which is at 99.3% DCI-P3, 97.8% Adobe RGB, and 139.1% sRGB. One thing special about the 342C is the MSI Spectrum Bar, we call it the ultimate synchronized RGB lighting effect at the bottom of the panel. Other than the two ultra-wide QD OLED monitors that I've just mentioned, MSI is also showing off three other non-OLED monitors, namely the MAG323 UPF, which is a 4K 32-inch panel. This is actually a flat monitor. And here, we also have the 27-inch 4K monitor, which is also a flat one. And last but not least, a 32-inch Curve 1440p monitor. It is the MAG 325CQRX5. One of the PC that is standing out is the MAG Trident X2 13. From the name itself, it is powered by the 13th Gen Intel Core i9 13900KF processor with a GeForce RTX 4090 graphic card. MSI claims that a 280mm AIO is enough to cool the 13900KF in this build because of what they call the Silent Storm Cooling Tree. Right? The cooling system optimizes airflow by separating the chambers as you can see here. The Mac Trident X2 also has a tiny screen up here that gives you a few options to control Mystic Light and also monitor the uh, temperature of your temps, CPU frequency, uh, CPU temps, GPU temps, and so forth. Uh, today we are here with Nick from Geek Seekers. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, mate. How you going? We've met before. Yeah. I just thought before. I'd chime in really quickly just to do the Computex thing, right? <laughs> All right. After a change of wardrobe, I'm going to explain to you uh, components of uh, MSI, right? So generally, MSI differentiate their components, especially their motherboards, into three different tiers. Namely, the MEG, which is the top of the line, then uh, followed by MPG, and then MAG. So MEG is their top of the line range, which uh, features their famous Godlike and also the ACE motherboards. There is nothing really new to be shown here in Computex 2023, really, apart from Wi-Fi 7. Right? So they will be coming out with new bots that features Wi-Fi 7 later this year around Q3 or Q4. And how you differentiate those bots they are equipped with Wi-Fi 7 is with the name Max at the end of those models. Right? So remember, any existing bots that has the Max on it is Wi-Fi 7 ready. So MSI is going to feature Wi-Fi 7 across all their series, including the MPG and MAG bots. Right? And right now, I'm going to show you a new integration into Mystic Light featuring Voice Mod. So, what is Voice Mod? Voice Mod is actually a real time AI voice changer. So, in Voice Mod itself, there are actually a lot of presets that you can click and then you can just speak into the microphone and it will change your voice immediately in real time as they clip, right? So, there's a lot of uh, presets built into the Voice Mod currently. So, we're going to try one or two. Okay, let's try Cute, right? Just because I want to act cute, right? So let's activate the mic here. I'm not sure if the mic can pick up my cute voice, but the voice, my voice is being changed in real time. Am I cute? Really? Okay, let's try another one. I 
chocolate. The banana, banana is Q2. Sounds pretty similar, similar actually. actually. Why is Why it? Why is it banana? banana though? Though? Okay, this is a uh, demon. Why sound like a demon? Sounds a bit scary though. Don't you think? Demon. Anyway, you get the idea. A uh, lot of presets that let you change your voice in real time so that uh, when you are streaming a game you know, or recording a video, you can just uh, change your voice. A bit funny, but maybe a little bit scary. I don't know. What do you think, right? So, uh, according to MSI, they are going to integrate uh, voice mode into Mystic Like sometime in the future with a software update. Uh, they are going to include a few uh, presets, but uh, you can also purchase more uh, through voice mod. Right, so let's check out other stuff. Right, so now we are at the white team corner where MSI is showing off a completely white build, including the peripherals, monitors, headset, the case, GPU, motherboard, and even the cooler. Right, so come have a look. Right, so MSI is showing off their brand new PCIe Gen 5 NVMe SSD. We have here the M570, which looks uh, pretty much like the traditional, just with a thicker heatsink. And then we also have the M570 Pro with a triple pipe heatsink to cool the very hot PCIe 5 NVMe. The read speed of this thing is 12,000 megabytes per second and writing at 10,000 megabytes per second. But wait, that's more. Now we have the M570 Pro Frozer Plus. The difference between these two is that this comes with active air cooling. So as you can see, the difference here, the Frozer and the Frozer Plus, one without the fan and one with a fan. Right, so now this is the M570 Pro Frozer Plus and with crystal disk marks, comes out at 14,500 megabytes per second read speed and up to 12,000 megabytes write speed. That is crazy. And uh, you all know that PCIe 5 NVMe gets really hot and that is why they come out with an active cooling solution. Alright, so I'm also going to quickly highlight what uh, MSI has done with their 12 volt power connector. It's really nothing special, but there's actually just added color into their connector. Why they added color is so that uh, when you plug it in into the socket, if it's seated correctly, you will not see the color at all. Because we've seen a lot of issues in the past where the sockets and the power connectors are burned because it is not seated correctly. Now that uh, they added color and you won't be able to see the color if it's seated correctly, it is safe to go. So here is a kind of special build by MSI, full white, yes. But most importantly, he lies in this board. MSI calls this Project Zero. Why Zero? Because zero cables. As you can see at the back, all the power connectors are right at the back. Right? So this is not new. Like I mentioned before, Gigabyte has attempted this and uh, has not gone mainstream. And ASUS also introduced their own version a few days ago. The only difference here is this is not proprietary at all because all the powers that are two are from the back does not include the GPU. That is why you can still see the GPU cable right outside. Meaning, uh, all kind of GPUs are compatible. Again, it remains to be seen if MSI can bring this back connector motherboard to the mainstream market. And this is also a brand new case, which is the MAG Vampiric Project Zero. Features a glass all around the front. It gives you a clean and slick look of your build, especially from the side. Beautiful, don't you think? I wish I can show you everything here in the MSI booth today, but this video will take way too long. So uh, be sure to like, share and subscribe for more of our coverage in Computex 2023. Anything, just leave a comment down below. And uh, I will see you guys again in the next video. Bye!